Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how I designed this YouTube thumbnail using Canva. Now, the first thing you want to do is actually go to canva.com. Once you do that and you log in, you're going to come up to a screen like this. Right now I am using the free version. This video is all about how to make thumbnails for YouTube for free. Now, the first thing you want to do is click social media and then scroll over until you see YouTube thumbnail. You can also just type YouTube thumbnail in the search bar up here and it'll take you to the same place. Okay, so once you click on YouTube thumbnail, you're going to be brought to this like blank canvas. And on the left here, you can scroll through and just pick whatever template you like. In this instance, I use this one here. Again, I am using the free version at the moment. And then you just click it and it'll auto populate. Now, I think the first thing I did to create my thumbnail was delete the photo. In order to do that, I had to like click into it. And then I double clicked it just now and I'm going to hit delete. Now that we have this blank space, I'm going to go over here to the left and I'm going to click element. When you do that, you come to this where it's going to have a whole bunch of graphics and photos, and different videos you can use. I think not all of them are free, so if they have this little crown and you don't have the pro version, you won't be able to use it, but you can still make a great thumbnail. Now, I'm gonna go over here to the search bar and I'm gonna type in graphic design because that's my channel theme. If I can spell it, there we go. And then it's gonna populate, I believe these are Creative Commons licensed photos. I'm just gonna click this and I'm gonna drag it into this open area here. I'm hoping it'll auto snap it. Okay, it didn't. So I'm just gonna pull on the corners here until it's fairly big. And then I am going to right click and go to send to back and just kind of drag it to the edge. And then we'll have something like this. Now. I like to increase the saturation, so I like to make the colors like brighter and pop more on my thumbnails. So I'm gonna click the photo that I just placed. I think I put a filter on it first. So we're gonna pick Dalians. I, I don't know if I said that right. So once I have my filter on here, you go up here to adjust and then you can kind of bump the saturation up by dragging it to the right. If you wanted it to be lower, you can kind of drag it to the left. If you wanted like a grayscale effect, you could do that. I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. I think it was at like 50 something. You can see what it's doing. It's just making the colors pop more, which is what I'm looking for. It might be a little high, but this is just like an example. Actually, I did this for the thumbnail now that I think about it. And then I'm going to take the contrast and I am going to bump it up as well. You don't want to go too far because it like looks like it's blowing out the colors a bit much. So we're just going to bump it a little bit. And I think I also put a bit of a blur. Obviously not an insane amount, just, just a little bit. There we go. And then, what did the thumbnail actually say? Design thumbnails with Cam. So in order to change the text here, you just kind of double click into it and type whatever you wanted to say. So design thumbnails. Okay, we can see that it kind of like went down and I don't, I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag until it snaps to the first line. I'm kind of adjusting it so whenever it snaps back down to the second row, I just kind of back off a little bit. That way it's matching the very edge of that type box. And we're gonna go down to the second text here. We're gonna double click and type with Canva. Oh, if I could spell. Canva. Same thing happens so you can just kind of drag it out the same way I did before. I'm mostly just bringing it in as close as possible for alignment purposes because I'm weird like that and things need to be aligned. And then finally, I think I said, uh, what was it? Beginner tips. That's pretty simple. Just double click and type it in again. And it's just that simple. I think I, I, think I changed the gradient behind the text here as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that too. That looks a little, no, that's how it's done, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna double click this. Actually, don't double click it. Just click it once and then go up here where the little color swatches are and you can actually change the colors that are in this object. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the default colors here because they look to be similar to the colors that are in this image which is really helpful. I'm trying to remember what I did. I think I had yellow, purple, and blue but it seemed like it was backwards and I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So the colors are going from left to right so yellow 
should be on this side, at least my thinking, but it actually showed up over here. So whoever made this probably flipped the shape at some point. We're gonna go blue. And then I think that's how I did it. Yeah, I did. Whenever you finish the design you're working on, you just go up here to download, you click it, and you can make it a JPEG or a PNG, but I believe you can't like have a transparent background unless you have the pro version, but in this case, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go to JPEG and then I'm gonna click download. And now it says downloading design thumbnails, probably because that's what uh, I titled it. We're just going to open it so you can see it. And then you can actually upload this to your video as a thumbnail. It's really that simple. Anyways, guys, as always, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.